In this class, we are going to discuss about the design of conductor for the boost converter as well as the capacitor also. Already in the last class, we have seen the operation of a boost converter. The circuit is consisting of inductance as well as the capacitance. Now, how do we select a value of inductance and capacitor for given boost converter? That we are going to calculate in this. Here we have taken the inductor current waveform. When switch is on, the inductor current will be changing from minimum value I1 to I2. Again from max 1 to the minimum. The voltage across the inductor switch is on Vs of Vs minus V0. The same thing will be repeating here. When switch is on Vl equal to Vs, Vl we can write it as a L into Di by Dt equal to Vs. Di is nothing but a change in current. I2 minus I1 that is equal to delta I in the interval dt equal to on time. Substitute these two values in the above equation we are getting the L into delta I by T on equal to Vs. Find the value of T on. T on equal to delta I into L by Vs. The same manner we are going to calculate the when switch is off state. Now VL equal to Vs minus V0. Again this VL we can write it as a L into Di by Dt equal to Vs minus V0. Di is nothing but a change in current during the off state of a switch that is I1 minus I2. That we can write it as a minus delta I. In the interval Dt equal to Tf substitute these two values in the above equation. Minus L delta I by T of equal to minus of V0 minus Vs. Here minus minus gets cancelled. T of equal to delta I L by V0 minus Vs. We know that the total time period T equal to T on plus T of. Substitute above two values in this equation and simplify this one. Delta I into L by Vs plus delta I L by V0 into Vs. Delta I into L is common. So we are getting the delta I into L V0 by Vs into V0 minus Vs. This V0 you take to the denominator and simplify this one. 1 minus Vs by V0 in a boost converter this value becomes a delta. So we are getting the delta I into L by Vs into delta. So the ripple in inductor current delta I equal to Vs into delta divided by L into F. The T we are going to write it as a 1 by F. This is the expression for the ripple in inductor current in terms of input voltage. Suppose if you want to find out the ripple current in inductor in terms of output voltage means this Vs you have to replace with a V0 and in terms of delta. So we are getting the V0 into delta into 1 minus delta by L into F. Now from these expressions, if you find the value of inductance, inductance L equal to Vs into delta by delta I into F. We are getting this expression from this first one. The second expression we are getting from this expression. We can use any formula depending upon what are the values which are available with ours. Now we are going to see the Design of capacitor for boost converter. Capacitor current we have taken. This is capacitor voltage. First we are finding the change in charge across a capacitor that is equal to this much of charge. This is minus I0 into T on. So delta Q equal to T on into I0. This T on we can write it as a delta into T. Because delta equal to T on by T into I0. The T we are going to write it as a. 1 by F. So this is equal to delta into I0 by F. We know that the capacitance C equal to delta Q by V. Now we are going to find out the ripple in voltage. So delta V equal to delta Q by C. Substitute the value of delta Q in this expression. Delta V equal to delta into I0 by F into C. We know that I0 equal to V by R for constant load current. So, in place of I0, you take this one. 
Replin output voltage is delta V equal to delta I into V naught by F into R into C. So from this expression, we can find out the value of capacitance also. So the capacitance C equal to delta I into V naught by F into R into delta V, where delta V is nothing but a Replin output voltage. Nothing but a, it is a difference between the maximum voltage to the minimum voltage in a output voltage of a boost converter. So in this manner, we can find out the value of inductance as well as capacitance for the given boost converter. These values are highly depending upon the value of ripple current and ripple voltages and frequency of switching operation. So thank you very much for watching this video.